All right, let's go kick some ass. It's good to just get in the habit of turning torches off, but you don't want to do like every torch, right? Now the dream is is if the devs make it so some of the torches in the dungeon spawn off, so it's like randomly generated, versus having every single fucking torch be on. Like there's a goddamn like, like you know, not a cleaning service, but a torch service that's just going around the dungeon making sure all the fucking torches are kept on. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how all of them are just on all the time from the get go. But that's 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 a. Uh, that's going to be a different video for a different time. Um, but yeah, get in the habit of turning off the torches. But don't do them all. Because if you do all the torches, it looks kind of suspicious. If you do some of the torches, it's less concrete. Holy shit, where did you come from? Fuck, man. Usually, you can see them spawn before you go into the room. Fuck. Alright, now somebody did die to a skeleton warrior. So hopefully they think that's me. Like, he did enough damage. I got hit. Because I, I think I killed that skeleton warrior right at the time as he hit me oh yeah get it get it fuck hit the wall come on come on Done it. yes okay now i just need to not get hit by any of these fucking wizard spells and, and we're okay that's it oh my god it sounds absolutely fucking terrifying Holy shit, how am I not dead? Oh my god. What a fucking grueling spawn fight. Holy shit. Let's, alright, let's loot these guys. Hopefully they have meds. The, the rangers gotta have a campfire. Yes! Alright, this is gonna take us basically up to full. All right, not the greatest loot, but we survived. That's the important part. So anyway, back to what I was saying about the torch thing. You never want to turn off all the torches. If you turn off all the torches, A, it looks like someone... It's very suspicious, right? Like, all the torches are off, people come in an area and they go, okay, there's probably a high likelihood someone is close by or, like, right fucking here. So they're probably going to spam torches and just toss those fuckers everywhere, which is not good. If you just turn some of the torches off, it's going to be more likely that they're just going to go to the next area that has a little bit more light lit than, rather than just throw a torch down. Like, they're just going to walk. Thereby giving you a chance, if you are in the shadows nearby, to then ambush them because they're not expecting it. So just something to keep in mind and to practice. Now, probably they're, they're still going to throw torches, but this way there's a, a much greater likelihood that they'll leave some of the darkness available for you to use as cover. Hmm. Alright, where to next? You heard steps. Now, when I was first beginning my rogue career, I left urns alone because you just, you can't break shit as a rogue with, with your fucking, you know, rapiers and your daggers, like, boxes are just completely off limits, uh, unless you have a pickaxe, that's the one thing they, they just added recently that allows you to do that, so let me amend that. Um, and I always thought, like, urns, based on the, the last play test, number two, urns didn't really give shit, like, it was kind of a waste of time breaking those. But this playtest, they're they're amazing. Always break the fucking urns. I've gotten campfires, green campfires, surgical kits. They're kind of insane, and it just takes two smacks to break them open. Yes, it's a little loud, but I think the payoffs are completely worth it.
Let's just grab this so no one else can get it. It's gonna make me visible. Kind of very, very visible, actually, but it's okay. It'll come in handy if we have to fight somebody and we'll make sure nobody else gets it. Oh, this is probably greedy. Okay, just enough damage to pull it off. Uh, for everybody watching, don't do that, okay? Play it safe. That was very sloppy on my part. I could have taken a hit there. Yeah, that could have easily been avoided. Like, there's no need for me to do that. I thought I saw a fucking potion in here. Did I, I swear I caught, like, a little bit of red in my peripheral. Oh, there's a potion. Cool. All right, now let's place some uh, inventory Tetris. Uh-huh. Okay, let's put you there and put you there. I feel like I fucking hear somebody. No, I yeah, that's that's totally somebody. All right, let's pause the video for a second, and I just want to ask you: What do you think is the correct move in this situation? Is it a wait for the cleric to come close, completely buffed, and attack him in all of his divine glory? Is it B, use the remainder of your stealth to run the fuck away as fast as possible? Or is it C, kind of do a combination of both? I'll give you a second to comment your answer in the comment section below. Oh, yep, missed the first two strikes. I love it. Fuck, that took half my health. All right, we're bailing. We're, we are getting the fuck out of here. Axes or no axes? Axes or no axes? No axes. <laughs> ha! Take that, cleric. Enjoy your fucking 10 second door opening speed. And here's another one for you. All right, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have engaged the cleric that just put on like fucking 45 buffs, but you know what? We're learning, we're learning. Now there are floor spikes here, so let's try and not fucking step on those. Now we are gonna take a little dark swarm damage here, but it's, it's fine, it's not gonna be too bad. I wonder if mobs take damage from Dark Swarm. Or if it's like a something that's like completely related to the to the monsters themselves. I don't have a lot of lore about the Dark Swarm. I, I barely know what the fuck it is. I, besides it's the Battle Royale circle mechanic. That's about as far as my Dark Swarm fucking knowledge goes. <laughs> uh, if anybody knows, please put it in the comment section. I'd, I'd love to hear the answer to that. Like fucking throwing knives, PTSD. Man. Every time I open my inventory up, it's it's like when you look at the sun and you it like burns that after image of the gigantic flaming star that is the sun. You know, and you look away. That same thing. Open up the inventory. I just have burned into my memory stacks of fucking throwing knives. All right, we do hear some more people. I want to see if it's just one or two. If it's one, we might we might consider taking it, but we've got to be careful because we're running low on meds now. All right, let's put this torch out. No fucking way that was at me. No fucking chance. He's just like that cracked, heard the steps, fucking loses one like goddamn Legolas. Just come a little closer. <laughs> yes, that's it, son. You're going straight back to the lobby. Mmm, delicious. Yes. All right, I'm hearing these little fucking pitter patter steps. I don't know if there's a rogue looking around or if this ranger had a friend, but let's, let's focus on getting the fuck out of here now. Let's 
Let's avoid the gas. Whoa, that's pretty nice. Why, hello there, Mr. Portal. Later, boys. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was entertaining. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Before we end, I just want to give a big shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you guys so fucking much. You are awesome. I want to make this my full-time thing that I do. I want to give you guys epic videos, informative videos where you, you learn some new stuff or it's just funny and you have a good time and you and you enjoy yourself and you know you get to kill 10 minutes here or 20 minutes there. Thank you. You guys are supporting me in doing this. I love you guys. You fucking rock. And hey, if you did enjoy this video, please consider becoming a patron. The link is in the description below. It really helps. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.